Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're diving into the latest tech news. MSI's has unveiled new X870E motherboard, firmware updates for AMD processors, and intriguing rumors about new Intel chips. All this and more coming up, so stay tuned on Edge Runners. Kicking things off with a big reveal from AMD. Just as the rumor mill predicted, the Ryzen 7 600 X3D has been officially launched, making it the most affordable gaming processor with 3 dv cache in the Zen 4 lineup. Priced at just $299, this 6-core beast is here to shake up the budget gaming scene. But there's a catch. Unfortunately, you won't be able to buy the chip by itself, at least not yet. Currently, it's available only as part of an exclusive bundle from Micro Center, priced at $449. The bundle includes an Asus B650 50 plus Wi-Fi motherboard and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So while it's a great deal, it's a bit of a bummer for those who were hoping to upgrade their existing setup without a full overhaul. This processor is now the cheapest Zen 4 chip with additional cache, offering DDR5 support, PCI 5.0 connectivity, and a 65 watts TDP. It's perfect for gamers looking for solid performance without breaking the bank. But for now, if you're eyeing this chip, you're also committing to a new motherboard and RAM. There's no word yet on when or if the 7600X 3D will be available as a standalone purchase or when it will hit other regions. Moving to memory news, SK Hynix has just announced a major leap forward in memory technology with the development of the world's first 6th generation 10 nanometers class DDR5 DRAM. Dubbed the 1C process, this latest generation offers significant improvements over its predecessor. According to SK Hynix, the new DRAM modules are not only 11% faster, but also 9% more energy efficient. This translates to potential savings of up to 30% on electricity bills for data centers, a significant factor in today's energy conscious world. But what makes this technology truly stand out is the enhanced production efficiency. SK Hynix has increased production capacity by over 30% thanks to innovative material applications in its extreme ultraviolet lithography processes. This boost in production efficiency is critical as the demand for high performance DRAM continues to grow, particularly in data centers and AI applications. Next, let's turn our attention to MSI's latest firmware update for AM5 motherboards, which brings a new 105 watts TDP option for Ryzen 9 600X and Ryzen 9 700X CPUs. This update, shared by the well-known Liko Kurobiru, has shown impressive performance improvements, up to 13% in some cases. The TDP increase from 65 watts to 105 watts allows these CPUs to operate at higher power levels, unlocking more performance, especially in demanding tasks like multi-threaded workloads. This update is easy to enable via the OC tab in MSI's BIOS, making it accessible even for less tech-savvy users. However, it's worth noting that this feature is currently specific to MSI motherboards. Whether AMD will include this option in future BIOS updates across other brands remains to be seen. But for now, MSI users have a straightforward way to boost their CPU performance. Now moving on to Intel, who's been quietly making some interesting changes to their next-gen processors. According to recent leaks, Intel plans to introduce a performance profile for their upcoming Arrow Lake S chips. This will affect the Core Ultra 5, 7, and 9 series, where the base TDP and performance mode will be cranked up to match the short-term maximum power draw. For example, the Core Ultra 265K and Core Ultra 285K models will see their base TDPs jump to 250 watts. This is a significant increase that could lead to much better performance performance, but at the cost of higher power consumption. For the Core Ultra 245K, the power draw will go up to 159 watts. These changes echo Intel's recent adjustments for their 13th and 14th gen chips, where similar power profiles were introduced to address stability issues. It's clear Intel is doubling down on performance, but we'll have to see how this impacts overall system efficiency, especially in smaller builds where power and heat management are critical. Moving on to hardware, MSI has unveiled the blueprint for its upcoming flagship motherboard, the Meg X870E Godlike, designed for AMD's Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. This EATX motherboard is packed with features, including a 28-phase power design, making it one of the most powerful boards on the market. It even has an additional 8-pin connector, which could be crucial for future multi-GPU setups or the upcoming RTX 50 series GPUs. Although pricing and release dates haven't been announced, it's clear that this motherboard is targeted at enthusiasts who demand the best in performance and overclocking capabilities. The X870E Godlike is set to be a top contender in the high-end motherboard market, and we can't wait to see how it performs in real-world tests. 
Shifting gears to storage, Crucial has launched the 4TB variant of its T500 PCI Gen 4 SSD. This SSD, which has already earned high praise for its performance in 1 and 2TB versions, is now available in a larger capacity. Although the 4TB model offers slightly lower read and write speeds compared to the 2TB version, it still delivers impressive performance, making it a strong contender against other top SSDs like Samsung's 990 Pro. Priced competitively, especially with current discounts on Crucial's website, the T500 4TB is a solid choice for those needing high capacity storage for desktops, laptops, or even the PS5. With its single sided design and DRAM cache, it's particularly well suited for users who prioritize efficiency and compatibility. Sticking with AMD, let's talk about their upcoming RDNA4 graphics cards. If the latest rumors are accurate, we're looking at a shift back to AMD's roots. Unlike the RDNA2 and RDNA3 series that included high-end models like the 6900 XT and 7900 XTX, RDNA4 might top out at the Radeon RX 8700. This means we might not see flagship cards like an RX 8900. Instead, AMD seems to be focusing on the mid-range, which could be a strategic move given the competitive landscape and the ongoing shift in gaming hardware. And that's not all. Early next year, AMD is set to launch new APUs, codenamed Kraken Point and Strix Halo, built on Zen 5 cores and featuring RDNA 3.5 graphics. These chips are expected to support ultra-fast LPDDR5X8000 memory, which should translate to impressive performance for both gamers and content creators alike. Strix Halo in particular could offer some of the most powerful integrated graphics we've seen yet. On the software front, Microsoft is delivering a free performance boost to AMD Zen 4 and Zen 5 processors through its upcoming Windows 11.24 H2 update. Early tests from reviewers like Hardware Unboxed and Hardware Lux have shown that this update can increase performance by up to 23.5% in certain games, although the results vary depending on the title. This update is especially good news for AMD, whose Ryzen 9000 series had initially struggled to meet performance expectations. The performance uplift is likely due to optimal optimizations in Windows 11's branch prediction algorithms, which Microsoft and AMD have been refining. As this update rolls out, it could provide a significant performance bump for users with Ryzen 7000 and 9000 CPUs. Finally, Gigabyte has announced it will release a new BIOS update by the end of August, addressing the sync close vulnerability in many AMD motherboards. This vulnerability, which affects processors released since 2006, allows hackers to exploit the system management mode of AMD CPUs. While no attacks exploiting this vulnerability have been reported in the wild, it's crucial for users to update their BIOS as soon as the patch becomes available. Gigabyte's quick response highlights the importance of timely updates in maintaining system security. Other motherboard manufacturers Manufacturers are expected to follow suit with similar updates, ensuring that a wide range of AMD processors remain secure against potential threats. Thanks for watching our latest tech roundup. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Got thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments below. See you next time.